With Notre Dame, it was the discussion about where my collection should go. It had been in my own house for a long time. We were looking for a prestigious place, but it had to stay in this country. I argued very strongly that it should, it should be in Notre Dame, partly because it had already got strong links and loyalty to Chesterton, but also because in its own right it was a good, a strong, outgoing place. Chesterton is quintessentially not only uh, British, but he's a citizen of London. And so part of that reading is the same thing, is to read in the place that these arguments are coming about. And, you know, he's arguing about certain visions of economics and social life. This is the place where these arguments are unfolding. To be able to, to hold a text and see, okay, this is where his note is, or you, you suddenly, the text of, that you're reading from Chesterton come to life. You come to understand the history of his dialogue and that he's part of a narrative that's much larger. And this is very good, I think, for Chestertonian studies. It elevates the scholarship that's going to occur around Chesterton. So Chesterton is an enormous influence when he's given the chance. And certainly, as he himself made clear, Notre Dame was the important place for him. I think this is an opportunity for Notre Dame. Suddenly, you're really going to have, I think, interest here. And we want to be recognized as a university, uh, not just here in the United States, but in London in, and throughout all of Europe. And I, I think this is one of the ways that we go about this.